hi you guys welcome back to another video so i have been gone you guys for like a week i went on vacation and let me tell you guys i was supposed to have done a sneak peek of this so i was not able to do it because of the fourth of july holiday the diamond painting came on the 6th i was leaving on the 6th of july so there was no way i was gonna be home to receive it so luckily one of my wonderful neighbors um she got this for me she held on to it until i got back and i literally got back tonight and i ran in here to film this for you guys because i saw what this was and i gagged and i was like oh my gosh i'm so upset <laughs> that i wasn't there to, to show it to you guys to do the sneak peek because this was one of the most popular kits of the new releases i believe so i was so excited when i saw the one that i was going to get so nicole from mary's diamonds she is the new owner she's also from bella art Day nicole she did my sneak peek for me you guys so i will put her video down in the description box as well i'll also put links to mary's diamonds to bella art Day nicole um, a link to where you can find this diamond painting it is for sale right now so I'll definitely put the exact link to it if you want to go and check it out for yourself. Um, highly recommend this company. Not saying that just because I, you know, do the sneak peek or whatever. I have worked on one of their canvases. And one of my main goals with my channel, especially with me being able to get sneak peeks, is to work on them for you guys and show them to you so that you know that I'm telling you if it's authentic or not because I'm actually working on the canvas just like I did with me um, with my other Mary's Diamonds kit, the Yellow Fairy Tale. I posted pictures on my Instagram. It is Whitney Diamond Paints. That's also going to be down in the description box as well. I did post pictures of that row by row as I was working on it. So I will do that again with this painting as well. And then I'll have like my post review. I may do like a whip and chat with this kit as well. And another thing I think I'm going to do is I got some new storage when I was out of town um, because this kit has a lot of colors. So I want to make sure I have one big container to hold everything. So I may or may not do like a speed kit up. I don't know yet, but y'all will see in the end um when i show you the post review what i use so we'll just have to see but yeah let's stop talking y'all let's unbox this it is beautiful so this is another kit from the same artist i worked on last time leanne i love leanne's artwork it is gorgeous and um, i'm actually I'm not gonna say which kit but i'm actually working on an older mary simons kit um before they were rebranded to the new mary simons um but I'm working on one of their old ones and it is a Leanne as well. So I will have that post review up soon. But anyways, let's look at this one. So this one is called, I don't know if y'all can see that. I hope y'all can. It is called right there. It is under the pastel C. It is licensed from Leanne. It says it's a 50 by 60 centimeter. So really good. Not too big not too small it says it's a 19.68 by 23.62 inches round drills with 59 colors and four ab drills let's go ahead and look because i haven't looked at nothing and as always with the mary's diamonds box you get the instructions on how to diamond paint on the back which i really love this when companies do this especially when they put it on the box and not put paper in the box to tell instructions because i think it's wasteful so love that and it does tell you here what is included in your um, kit and everything should be here if it's not definitely contact customer service and they will help you with that but you guys, I was just so upset. I was not here to get this sneak peek. My husband was telling me, he's like, girl, it is family time. So I think it was meant for me not to have it in time because I would have, honestly, y'all, I would have worked on this really hard during vacation and not gotten, you know, any time with the family like I should have. So um, it is what it is, but I'm here now. I'm going to work on it. I'm going to finish it quick, you guys. You know, I kind of drill kind of fast, especially with these rounds. So I don't want to look at it, y'all. But even though I did peep at it, I will say this. Um, it's different looking at something yourself as opposed to um, seeing someone else unbox it. So I'm going to pull everything out. Okay, here go the drills right there. I think there's some stuff in here, some labels and... Uh, the toolkit and stuff so we'll get into that 
So let's look. First of all, let's look at this um, toolkit. So um, every time I do my sneak peeks, I will, you know, show the toolkit again. But you get one of these Bella Art de Nicole essential trays. They're really popular on her uh, Bella Art de Nicole website. I really like these trays, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I do not use these trays at all. But however, I do use them to store stuff in. I do like them because the side right here is not too high and it's not too low. I don't like a side because I'm a constant shaker that's like flipping the drills out because it's too high or too low. And then like the distance from me having to do this, I don't like it if it's too high of a, a, a side. So I do like the side, but I do. These trays are really, really sturdy and I think they're awesome for someone who is just starting out diamond painting. This is the first kit you get. This tray is nice to have. So you have that, of course, and you get your regular tool kit. You get a pen with a placer on the back. Y'all know I don't use placers. You do get a bigger placer too. Let me see. There's a couple. Is there a couple? Yeah, it comes with one placer already, and then you get two more. You get some tweezers that are really sharp, so be careful with these. And I don't know how some people diamond paint and place squares or even rounds with tweezers, y'all. I just I can't do it. Um, I got some washi tape, and y'all know I don't really use washi tape, but I do think this is cute. Um, I am going to use my washi tape for something different. I just don't use it for diamond painting, but yeah, y'all, it's cute. It's snowman. It's not Christmas time, but this is nice when I want to do like a Christmas craft. So that is that. Um, you get... A squishy the, for the pen the pink one and then you get some wax never tried blue wax y'all but um maybe one day so you get all that in your little tool kit let me go ahead and put that away y'all these tweezers are sharp okay so let's look at the little sticker thing so here is the image again. Again, it's called Under the Pastel or Pastel C from Leanne. There's the sizing again. Again, like I said, 59 colors for ABs. And it has the pre label so you can just pull these off and stick them right on. I love labels like that, but 59 colors, you guys. I knew that it had that many colors. That's why I went and bought a new storage system, and I'm glad I did. So, um, yeah, there's the sticker sheet. Let's go ahead and look at the canvas because I know y'all are like, come on, girl, show me what you got. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all, are y'all ready? I rolled her backwards. I didn't peek, so let me go ahead and show her. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, my God, you guys. She's cute. Oh, she's such a cutie. I like her. Oh, my gosh. Oh, she's holding her little mirror here. This is a really good kit, I swear, for summertime. Like, right now, it's hot. You don't want to be, you know, out like that in this heat. But this is cute. Her hair looks nice. The symbols on this look really, really good. I will show you guys the symbols. And then I'm going to lay this out on my floor at the end so you guys can really, really see her. Look at her tail down there, you guys. Look at her tail. That's so pretty oh my gosh okay so the canvas has the same feel as last time and from working on this y'all i'm going to show you guys something so for those of you who are new here um these little bumps and whatnot will come out over time especially when you work on it because this is poured glue so you can roll this backwards these creases are nothing to be worried about I know this because I just finished a canvas from them and it had creases in it as well and they do come out it is just um, being packaged and stuff so this is not an issue so I just wanted to make sure I noted that to you guys and told you but the canvas feels nice and sturdy I can't rip anything it's really good the edges are nice and it has that scallop stuff that everybody likes um, I guess to keep it from fraying and stuff. It has the Mary Simons logo here at the top.
something that is unique to um, Mary's Diamonds is that they have this color panel here. It faces this direction and then it faces the other direction. So if you're a diamond painter like me and you're what I like to call a turner, you can turn your canvas anyway and you can still see your color key here on the side. I'm not someone who refers to this, but if you do, it is there for you. The symbols look real good, y'all. Let's, let's pull it up and look at these symbols. Let me get up close. Yeah, they're really, really readable. Something I do notice is um, on the last kit that I worked on with them, it had some guide circles on there. So they're not that bothersome, but they are there. So if you are a person who is finicky about guide circles, just be aware that they're there. You can cover them up. They're not that bad. And there's not that many guide circles. It's just a couple colors that have them. Her eyes are beautiful, you guys. Look at her eyes, look at her face. Oh my gosh, even her nails, like her skin, everything. All the little fishes look cute. Oh, so yeah, it is 59 colors. So yeah, four ABs. Really, really pretty. Let's look at some of these uh, colors, y'all. Let's just turn this over and look. I do want to figure out where the ABs go. I don't know yet. Um, are these in order? Oh my gosh, you guys, these are in numbered order. Ooh, and I don't want to mess it up. Oh my god. But I'm going to show y'all anyway some of these colors because they're pretty. Why not show them? Ooh, look at these purples, you guys. Ooh. Like this purple here, like this lilac. This is a nice little blue. Nice little touch. Okay. So let me get these ABs out the way. Is that another AB? It sure is. Okay, so it's not that many ABs, but it's not about how many, it's about where they're put on the canvas. I started to notice that when I'm diamond painting, it's about the placement. This is a really pretty purple right here as well. Yeah, I like that. Okay, okay. I hope you guys are enjoying this because it is torture to me that all these diamond painting like drills are not in order again. Okay, so there's some more. Ooh, this blue right here looks really nice. Look at these purples, y'all. All these purples together and these pinks. It's going to be beautiful. Wow, nice. Really, really nice. This is a lot of colors, though. I think this is probably her skin tone, like a peachy color. Maybe this is like the backup color to it, maybe. I don't know. Some more pinks. Just a couple more drills. Okay. I think this is like some ocean color maybe. I think this is another like skin tone. This blue here. We got some white. We got a couple loose drills in the baggie, but that's okay. That's fine. All right. So let's look back at the canvas again because I want to see where these ABs go. I want me to turn this on the side like if. I don't know, y'all. I do not know. Okay, so we have four colors here. We have the 5200 AB, which is this one. We have, what is this one? 743 AB, which is like this orange, yellow orange color. We have 310 AB. And 310 AB is not an AB that I really prefer, but because it's such a small amount, I'm kind of okay with that. So there you have that color. And then you have the 210 AB. So this is like that um, mauve I guess, purple or something. So you have that. So let's look and see where they're going to go. So, all right. So this one, the 5200, is going to go, what? Okay, so the 5200 goes all right here in her pearl necklace. So that's where it goes. So I think that's a good place to put that. Um, yeah, I think that's the only place. If there is more, I will definitely let you guys know when I do the uh, 
the post review. This next one, the orange, the yellow orange one, this one, this just goes all in the fish, like their gills, fins, or whatever, like up here in this orange area, like right here and there. So not a lot of areas for that either, but it's it's there. And it does go down here at the bottom. And this fish down here at the bottom as well. So love that addition. Then we have the, I guess, the money symbol. Okay. So the money symbol is in her eyes. And it's also in her um, pearl necklace, not necklace, head um piece or whatever and I believe that is it yes um and then we have the, the 310 that is that is in the fish's eyes all the fish's eyes including the one at the bottom and this is also in her um eyelashes I think that's gonna be beautiful you guys in her eyelashes oh yeah Okay, so I'm going to go ahead real quick and move the camera so you guys can see her and um, and all her beauty and we'll go ahead and end the video then. So let me do that real quick, y'all. And here she is. She's so beautiful. The details, you guys, are amazing. Like, I just cannot wait to do her. So like I said earlier in the video, if you guys want to um, see progress pics of this, definitely go to Whitney Diamond Paints on Instagram. I will post them on there. But in the meantime, don't forget everything pertaining to this canvas is linked down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, share my videos, you guys. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.